playing the vulture, who's supposedly still in there. It's pronounced Voltour. Voltour. <laughs> Voltour couture for men. Voltour couture for men. <laughs> so uh, I don't think they're going to throw them in there, throw them in there just yet. Um, but let's get into some DC stuff because this week all the Instagram people were talking about the Joker movie, the Joaquin Phoenix Joker I wasn't. movie. Yeah, you were not part of it. Yeah. Um, so it's supposed to start September. Cool. Shooting September. Yeah. Uh, jo- uh, Joaquin Phoenix. If you don't know who he is, uh, movies for like her. It's an amazing movie. Gladiator. Um, gla- probably best known for Gladiator. Yeah, that uh, The Johnny Cash movie, too. Oh, yeah. He's really well Big known time. for that with Reese Witherspoon. Yeah, so that is one that I would highly recommend, both of those movies and her. Um, if you don't know who Joaquin Phoenix is, take a look at him. But I think his role in Gladiator as Quintus was, it was Quintus, right? I think so. Yeah. yeah. Was the one that's kind of like, okay. I could see, I could see a Joker there. Yeah, he, he's he's a great actor. He he plays a good villain, which I I think like uh, that's what he did in Gladiator, and I think you know if he taps into that. But I don't know, I don't know if he could go like. There's one thing to be like a regular villain per se, like you know, like in Gladiator and just in general in movies. But like the Joker character is a psychopathic mm-hmm. kind of a, a whole other level of villain. Mm-hmm. I don't know if he's got and. I, I hope he proves me wrong, but I don't know if he's got the capability to play that kind of a psychotic villain. What are your thoughts? Like, do you think, or, and everybody else's thoughts too. Whoever's Can watching. you see Joaquin Phoenix as a Joker, like similar to, I guess, the Heath Ledger one, or do you think he goes completely different? Maybe he goes more, I don't know. Anthony, you're our resident DC fanboy. Yes. I don't know who Joaquin Phoenix is. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah. Uh, okay, anyway. So I'm going to talk with this, though, because this relates to another piece of news. But no, we same, haven't even finished this same one. Topic, the same topic. Oh, okay. Same topic, but relates to... Yeah, I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> so I posted, That was all great, but we're going to move on right now. So I posted about this. Uh, DC is now starting to... Uh, rumor has that they're starting to focus more on solo movies. What like are we Wonder Woman, about? Man of Steel, Joker. Yeah. See, okay, that's what comes yeah. together. Calm down. Just, yeah. So uh, I think it's uh, like... If they're going to be focused on making good movies like that, like I was against the Joker movie, mm, but if they're going to make it people. actually good, then mm-hmm. like I say, you know what? Screw it, DC. Just get a W at this point. Just you know, get the first down. That's all I care about. Get just the first you know, do something. <laughs> hey man, that's a well, great way to put uh, it. Yeah. Well, they did get the first down with uh, with so Wonder man. Woman, but then and what then happened they is they might right after. <laughs> they, they got a safety. Yeah. <laughs> like they ended up. Man getting... of Steel was good too. Uh, yeah. Again, yeah. yeah, and and that's what I've been saying for a while. I know you were uh, not on board with it but now that it's been rolling out i can see that you're on board with it and i'm glad to get vindicated in our own circle of friends for people that are like vacation <laughs> brooklyn 99 reference um yeah anthony though uh walking phoenix you don't know who he is but i guess the, the this is what todd phillips the director and uh, co-writer had said the which the studio describes as being an exploration of a man disregarded by society that is not only a gritty character study but also a broader cautionary tale. Uh, Scott Silver also co-wrote the script. That seems like a good. Uh, that seems like a good um, analysis. That seems like that's what Keen Phoenix. Well, I know yeah. what he looks like. I just don't know how he like acts. Oh, oh man, okay. watch so, Gladiator. Yeah, I th- I'd say that would be the the main one. Yeah. My only concern, my my, I have what I'm fifty fifty on the concerns. Todd Phillips is the director. Is yeah one concern i have however scott silver is also a co-writer and he he wrote um one of my favorite boxing movies uh wrote or directed which is the fighter oh yeah that and was a good one. and he was a part of eight mile and so i have Eminem. faith in scott oh and the finest hours which like is really good no. um there, and then you did some other ones, but the three most notable ones, Finest Hours, The Fighter, and Eight Mile. Whereas Todd Phillips, let's bring up Todd Phillips here. He did one of my favorite comedies of all time, which is The Hangover. Yeah. However, he did Hangover 2 and 3. Yeah. He also did. Which you're still upset about. Which I'm so upset about, which we'll yeah. talk about later. Yeah. Uh, he did War Dogs, uh, which is on Netflix, which I want to catch because I didn't get a chance to see it. He did Old School. Amazing. Yeah. He did Due Date, which I thought was underappreciated. He did Road Trip. Stars- oh, yeah, I remember that one. Yeah. yeah. Starsky and Hutch. Okay. I never um, saw that one. He did School for Scoundrels. He did Project X, which was uh, considered a really good one. He was also part of Borat. So my thing is, 
because he's primarily comedy, can he do a Joker movie? Is he the right guy to do a Joker movie? Even if the writing is good, you still have to have an, a director that's going to be there, that has a vision of how this is going to be, but he's from a comedy background. Anthony, looks like you have something you want to say. I'm just waiting until everybody's done talking. Hey, Scratchy. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so, like, new topic. New... <laughs> <laughs> While we're on the topic of things, let's just talk about Avatar 3. No, we're I'm not going to talk about joking. <laughs> Jesus. I'm going to throw my coffee. Across. No, actually, I cherish this coffee. Uh, so, like, I don't know. I feel like I don't like to judge things and, like, hate things before I see them. Like, you know, I was like, you know, Jared Leto, sure. That that was a backfire. Ben mm. Affleck, sure. That was that was a good one. That was a good one. So I don't really like judge things, but if it's gonna be like a dark kind of comedy thing, because obviously it's a Joker. He does laugh at some messed up things, like before, you know, with the jokes that were being said in the room by somebody, right? You know, like that. So that was like that kind of dark humor, where it's like super dark, and you like don't know if you should laugh at this, but it's like so dark and it's so like weird that you think like oh, this is kind of like funny in a way. Do you think it's like the type of humor that we're kind of thinking, but no one wants to say? Mm-hmm. Like kind of like Deadpool, but even like further out, like for further in terms of like really messed up. Yeah, interesting. I also yeah. like I also like do want to see a horror, like more of a horror aspect with the Joker, just because I think that'd be like interesting to see with that character. But see, and that and to those both points, those are really good points. And I don't know if Todd Phillips is the guy to do it. I I look at it this way: it's one of two ways. Either one, it's going to be a tamed down version compared to like the Heath Ledger Joker. That's yeah. it's either going to be that. Or, and I'm hoping this is more the case, this is him saying, okay, I know I'm. you guys are used to me doing comedies. I am going to take it to a whole other level to prove that, yes, I can do these types of movies and maybe elevate himself to a whole other level. That Great could point. be a way that he's he's going to do it. I hope that's the case. Well, right now I'm two out of three to yeah. that point. Yeah. Um, because Joaquin Phoenix, I do believe, can do it. Yeah. And Scott Silver, I do believe can do it and put a lot of influence in it. Cause like I said, I adore the fighter. Yeah. Um, but then you got to look at it from my Todd Phillips right now is the only thing that has concerns for me. I really like that synopsis again, someone disregarded by society, which yeah. they may piggyback off of the idea that Heath Ledger was a man of war. He was in the yeah. sense, like he was a soldier. Solid point. Um, the way he was, there was a theory that not a theory, but an explanation. Uh, I think by Patton Oswalt, when he was talking about the interrogation scene in The Dark Knight, and he was saying how he understood how the interrogations go, so maybe he was the guy that was in charge of interrogating people, torture. Yeah, that's you know all sorts of stuff like that. So disregarded by society, historically, soldiers are unfortunately disregarded by society, like their government and and the the country that they have fought and for. died for yeah. um and so by that i'm really interested in it but it could end it, like i i am really really hoping that it does well yeah i really want too. it to and i don't think it's fair anymore because it's been over 10 years um or just over 10 years or it's closing 10 years i don't think it's fair anymore now to be like is it going to be the uh, as good as heath ledger yeah. but that's instinctively going to happen well that's the bar right that like, is the bar